Okay. It's a new year and time for a new you. January is officially Get Organized Month or Go Month. And if you need help, professional organizer Jen Rucker is here with the details front in a free organizational conference and she also has tips on organizing everything in your life closets kitchens and so much more Jen perfect timing for you to be yes. here welcome to the show thank you I think the new year is a time you know everyone makes those resolutions and you know we talked about it last week get organized broadly mm -hmm. speaking is one of the top resolutions you know it why is. is it so important for people um, getting organized is so important it affects us in every part of our lives whether we know it or not mm -hmm. uh, down to the spaces we encounter both at work and at home how we organize our finances, going grocery shopping, uh, cooking at home, our calendars and our to-do list. Mm -hmm. So it affects everything and when anything like that's out of balance, um, it can really um, cause things like stress and chaos in your mm -hmm. life and really reduce our productivity. And you know, on the other hand, when things are all organized and those things are imbalanced, mm -hmm. you just feel happy. I see it every day, a lot happier and uh, just excited with like a weight lifted off your shoulder. Yeah, and that's what you see with your clients. You go in, things are a mess, you kind of set them straight. Mm -hmm. What do they tell you afterwards? How do they feel? Uh, like I said, you know, New they, person. Yeah, you know, a lot of times clients, they'll cry because they're just so happy. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of hugs, a lot of tears, and um, you know, it really just doesn't just affect the person that um, wanted the organizing, mm -hmm. it affects the whole family because when you're positive and in a good place, mm -hmm. you affect the people at work and at sure. home. And you feel lighter when you've got less stuff mm -hmm. and it's cleaner. Mm -hmm. So uh, this stuff that you brought is so simple, but just kind of work your way down the table and show me some of your like small tips to help us at home. Yeah, and I first want to say that um, it's my goal to make sure people feel people know that getting organized does not have to be expensive. Mm -hmm. And so we see all these kind of things that are expensive that you get from the container store or on Pinterest, mm -hmm. but um, these are all from the dollar store and I did everything you see on this table for under $20. Wow, and don't people make the mistake sometimes they go and buy all that expensive stuff first before they organize anything? Yes, that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. um, what I want to communicate to everybody is that you need to declutter first okay. because you might buy a bunch of bins and realize that you got rid of half your stuff okay. and then you don't need all those so bins. So get rid of it before mm -hmm. you start putting in bins. So what do we have? Yeah, so this is one of my favorite finds that I got from the dollar store. Mm -hmm. And so um, what I like about these is that they're skinny and long, so they work in some of those deeper spaces. Um, for This one specifically for your pantry. Mm -hmm. So this fits, I have some baking goods in here, made this cute little tag with just things I had left over in the house. Um, I love the labels. I'm yeah, a fan of labels. Yep, so made at home so you don't even have to, you know, buy those out of the store. And so this goes right into your pantry like this okay. and so you can pull it out mm -hmm. and um, you're not going to mess anything up and you can see what's in the back. Okay, love that. Um, alternatively, you can also use this in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, I put a bunch of different essentials in here, my lotions, uh, you know, tampon soap, mm -hmm. body spray, um, but you can use these are so versatile mm -hmm. and you can use them for all parts of your home. Okay. And then next we have this closet stuff yes. or yeah. These are um, you know some of our essential things that you need in the home. Mm -hmm. um, these bins with a, a lid which mm -hmm. is great for stacking. Um, I have a little dog at home so I like to have a little um, section oh, just for her. Yeah. It. So her little brush, she has her little um, handkerchief, uh, her Halloween costume and some little medicine that I have mm -hmm. for her so I keep this all together and I never lose any of it never find myself at the store when it's clear my husband makes fun yeah. of me I love my label maker I'll still label it if it's clear do you need to do it though when you can see it um, I absolutely do because okay. in the case where I have this I have this on a top shelf in a closet so you can read so I can there. see what's up there okay. absolutely and especially if I have both of these next to each other and I can't quite see um, in the case of this one I put some essential tools cool. uh, your hammer your tape measure things like that um, a lot of times I'm finding these uh, in junk drawers in people's mm -hmm. homes and mm -hmm. you're gonna find a hammer in one place your wrench in another let's keep them all together put mm -hmm. a little label put them where you store these things and um, it'll be really easy to find okay and then the bathroom I love this with the little rock yeah this is so cute and um, I like this because you know first of all the dollar store actually has things that you can make look mm -hmm. kind of cute I got these little rocks there it fits your little brush and some of your manicure items mm -hmm. and adds a little splash of color into the bathroom and uh, this one, I just kept the lid on it and I felt like it was begging to have cotton balls cotton in balls. it. So very easy access, anything like that. Um, this was a really fun one to find. So I think this is just meant to be like a coupon book, yeah. which is you know a great use for this. Mm -hmm. Also receipts I would use for my business, um, but also first aid, which I love because a lot of the first aid items that you mm -hmm. uh, need are flat and so they fit in here great. So 
I add little labels. I have mm -hmm. my small, medium, and large band-aids. And I, as a mom, my like kids that. are always like falling down left and right. You mm -hmm. could keep that in your car. So yeah, you keep this in your you. center your console. Purse, yeah. Your purse fits perfect. Mm -hmm. And but before we yeah. run out of time, yeah, absolutely <laughs> could. Well, I could go through all this, but this conference that you guys have, so many of us need help. These are such great tips. Where is it and where can we get you know all this great information in one spot? Yes, yeah, so it's the National Association of Professional Organizers, mm -hmm. and we're going to have this on January 23rd, mm -hmm. 1 to 4. That's a Saturday. Okay. And it's at the main branch of the Charleston County Library and we're going to be having five speakers and talking about all kinds of things related to organizing with a Q&A at the end so you can ask questions. That's great and it's it's free to go to. It is free to go want. to. And I know you're talking about, is it cars? Yeah, how to keep your I car tidy. I have my car is a trouble spot. Yeah, it is for a lot of people and people forget that your car is something you spend your time in every day mm -hmm. so we want to make sure that that's um, simple and uh, makes you feel good when you get into that car okay. heading to work. Even time management I see, organizing before an emergency, home inventory, yes. without the heartache. It's hard sometimes to decide what to keep, what to get rid of. Your car, that's what you're talking on. And then the five secrets of a healthy living. Yes. Jen, such a pleasure to have you. You need to come and organize us regularly yes. <laughs> here in Low Country Live. Thanks for being here. Thank you such so much. Such great tips, all bought from the dollar store. Really simple, easy advice for you to do at home. Coming up next, keep all of your healthy New Year's resolutions with the help of Earth Fair. We are in the kitchen with more on a new year, new you. Coming up next.